Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Okay, well, I am just on with you guys really, really quick. Emily's going to be crafting with you guys later. So I just jumped on to show you guys what's new today. And really, honestly, we're going to throw a cup together really quick because I'm going to mail this out to my aunt. She is a huge giraffe lover. Her whole house is decorated giraffe. And she's having a hard time right now. So um, aren't we all? <laughs> Aren't we all? Um, but I, today's instant transfers are like perfectly suited for her. We have the really big, beautiful, it's so pretty, this uh, like watercolor giraffe. Then we have the um, giraffe print sheets. Okay. And then we have the giraffe splotches. I love these. So this is the giraffe splotches. Okay. So you have the giraffe swatches, the giraffe pattern, and then the pretty rainbow giraffe. These are the new items today. And then we have two new uh, keychain, instant transfer keychain sets. Okay, we have the red rose. I call it the fire rose, but the red rose with the keychain blank. And sunset, sunburn, sun, sun, sunrise, sunburn, sunset, repeat. It's got the cheetah print in the back. You could even quasi say that those are maybe giraffe spots but all right so we've got sunrise sunburn sunset repeat for your summertime vacation keychains and you have the big beautiful red rose all right so these are the two new ones up on the website hello hello miss pam hi mary hi nelly nancy's in the house hello hello michelle all right so those are the two new ones don't forget they come shipped to you in two separate parts you put them together make sure you take the front and back off the acrylic blank Hello. So we're going to dive in. Emily's going to be crafting with you later. Um, I just want to jump on really quick and show you guys what was new on the website, like, and play with it a little bit. Um, but I don't have a lot of time because um, I'm going to take over for Ivan so he can go to ninja class today. He went yesterday, but we have a thing going on tomorrow, so he won't be able to go tomorrow. He's very dedicated, so I try to, like, support that. But he's up with the baby right now, giving her a bottle. So I wanted to hop on with you guys right now. We did the field day with the girls. It's so hot already here. Standing in the sun, but the girls loved it. And they loved that we were there. So so now the girls are just hanging out. And Ivan's got the baby giving her a bottle. And then I'm going to run up there and take over for him. Hello. All right. So we are going to be using, I'm going to use the, um, was this battle, the battle box tumbler? So I think this one's one she will like. She would like a lot on um, the shape of it and everything. So we're going to apply on that. I'm going to do the um, giraffe spots and the giraffe. Okay. So I'm going to start with the giraffe, actually. So when you do these instant transfers, just like a water slide, I actually recommend kind of cutting around and cutting the extra, um, what's it called, off, off the side, the extra, um, just that's you don't need. Okay. So then you have less like sticky everywhere because it is a strong grip tape. It's going to be super cute. All right. So we're going to, I'm actually going to cut this decal down a little bit because I don't want its head. So look, I don't want its head going over the lumpity lump. Hello, everybody. It's Thursday. The new instant transfers up on the website today. If you missed it, this week is like animals vibe because we've got um the the dolphins. Now we've got the the giraffe, but like I don't want his face like going over the. I guess he would be okay going over there. I'm gonna cut a little bit more off the bottom. So it's gonna be more just like maybe his little horns. I think he's gonna fit better this way. Hi guys. So if you're just jumping on, today is thir it's well, today's Thursday, in case you didn't notice. Um, but today I we we got some new instant transfers. They are giraffe themed. We have the the pretty giraffe decal that I'm working with right now, and then we have the giraffe spots and the giraffe splotches. Okay, I've got to be really careful not to touch the white as I line this up. Okay, push it, push, and take the squeegee and go out, go out. Okay. 
Okay. Now, because of the texture on this um, tumbler, you got to make sure you press it down really, really well. Because there is a very, very subtle texture on this tumbler, and the instant transfers will stick down to it, but they need a little coaching. They need a little, little encouragement. Okay, then we're going to get in there and just slowly peel. Yes. So today there are the new instant transfers and then there's all, there's so much new stuff from this week. Yesterday's live mix is darn near sold out. There's like maybe 30 of yesterday's live mix left. It's in 420s. There is a request list. I can, I think that's already on there, but I will, I will add it. Give me just a second. Ooh, where's the pen? Yeah. I'll add it onto the, um, we do have a lot of 420 water slides. We have a whole 420 themed decal pack. Uh, I think it's called Don't Panic, It's Organic. I'm not sure we have anything. Has anybody, do you guys, I can't, honestly, it's all starting to blur together. I don't think we necessarily have anything 420 themed in instant transfers yet. Decal is actually doing very, very well. It's coming off very easily. Oh, that's so pretty on the black base. Okay, so this is the new instant transfer. This is the new giraffe, Girafa. gonna love this she's going to freak out this is going to be for my aunt she is going through some stuff stuff tough stuff in life right now and she will love this so i'm going to cut out the um some giraffe spots i'm so i don't have to try to manage the entire sheet at once so i'm just going to cut a few out at a time and apply them a few at a time because trying to peel this back and use the entire sheet you run the risk of it sticking down to the cup where you don't want it to because you're trying to manage this huge piece. So I'm just going to take some little bits and we're going to go around the cup. If you're just jumping in, your daughter-in-law loves giraffes. Yes, my aunt is a big giraffe fan. So that's where this is coming from for her. We're, we're doing this for her. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. Now you could lay them farther apart. They don't have to go down exactly as they are on the pat on the sheet. But in the essence of time, I'm going to just go and do chunks like this. Lay them down. Almost like patches. So we're, we're making this tumbler for my aunt, I'm going to send it off to her in California. She's a huge giraffe fan. Hi guys. Y'all, we're doing the black on black for your battle boxes. It looks so good. And so we're doing black on black for this one. Black on black. Oh, you're so welcome. You are so welcome, y'all. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a resin rhinestone live mix. So keep your eyes peeled. It will be earlier in the day. It won't be 5 o'clock because we have a birthday party. Because the kid, our kids don't have school on Friday, so it didn't even. I thought the birthday party was Saturday. And I luckily, I haven't paid attention to the... Um, the invite on the refrigerator because he's like, I don't think it's, I don't think it's at, I don't think it's at on Saturday. He's like, I'm pretty sure it's Friday, and thank goodness he said that because we would have missed it. 
So we will be tomorrow at five o'clock is the birthday party. So I won't be here at five. Hello, he, hello, Miss Sheil. So I will be live early in the day, probably earlier when I'm pretty sure I'm gonna probably go to the gym in the morning because that's what he does. Um, and then when he gets home, I'll have him take over for the baby and the kiddos. And then I'll come live with y'all. And we'll do some resin rhinestones. Am I going to cover it with rhinestones? No. Chandra, this one will not get rhinestones. This, this one will not get epoxy. Oh, did you say rhinestones or epoxy? With resin, sorry. No, I'm not going to cover this one with resin. Because the instant transfers are permanent bond, I don't need to. I'll just make sure I advise her that, that she can't put it in the dishwasher and to uh, not let it soak in hot water and to not leave it in her hot car and to just hand wash it, basically hand wash it. Hello, hello. Okay. How fun is this? All right. Big chunk. Yes, yeah, so that's a that's the glory of these instant transfers. You can you can you can epoxy over them or not. So if you have a design where you're going to ultimately want a layer of epoxy because you're going to also use some um some uh sorry uh, printable vinyl decals or some water slides with them, then you just go ahead and epoxy right over the top of them. But if you were like, nope, I don't want to use epoxy on this tumbler. I need something really really fast. These do not require epoxy. They are permanent bond. And when I say permanent bond, I don't mean permanent bond like the crappy permanent bond vinyl. I mean permanent bond like you're good to go. Doesn't need to be washed. I mean, doesn't need to be sealed in. Okay. This one I need to trim. So because this one is not getting epoxy, I have to be super careful to not touch the white backing on these decals because the white backing, once you touch it, you've um, you kind of contaminated the surface and it's no longer a permanent bond because of your oils of your fingers and the oils of your fingers and uh, the skin cells and stuff that get on it make it where it's no longer a permanent bond. So if you touch that white, you've got epoxy over it. So we're just scattering these. These are not going to go on... Um, I'm not going to fill the whole space. There's two reasons that's also, one, it's a design choice. Two, it's a little easier on me and quicker. But three, um, I can use, uh, I don't have to use my entire sheet of uh, giraffe print. I can just use uh, a little bit of it and then have more for another tumbler. Hello, everybody. Okay, so the new instant transfers up on the website is a sheet of giraffe spots. A sheet of giraffe splotches in all different sizes. And then this really pretty giraffe decal. Okay, they're all separate pieces. One, two, and three. Okay, and then there's two new keychain blank sets. One is the red rose. The other is the sunset, sunrise, sunset, repeat. Hi, everybody, as you're jumping on. Welcome, welcome. Okay, put this right here. We're just rocking and rolling. I'm making a quick cut for my aunt. She is a giraffe lover, so I was immediately thought of her with all these decals. So easy to apply. 
rocking and rolling. Okay, get a few more. Put a couple right up in there. So if you're just jumping on, there are a few more. Oh, you guys, really quick, let me show you yesterday's cup. Look at this. Um, uh, Amy, this is very similar to a UV DTF. It's just higher quality. It has a um, it has a higher resolution print images, and it is a little bit thicker than a UV DTF, which makes it easier to work with. Um, but it is called instant transfers, but they apply exactly like a UV DTF. Okay. How are the girls adjusting to Baby Betty? They love her. Yeah. We, I, went, I met the girls for, we're allowed to go and have lunch with the kids at school. And I went the other day because I had to go into the school for something else. And so it was timing wise, but I was like, oh, I'll just sit and have lunch with the girls. And every kid that walked by, they're like, we have a baby. Do you want to see her? We have a baby. And then I'm like, do you know that kid? They're like, no. <laughs> they were just so proud that they would show off their baby sister to the, all the students walking by. Oh, I remember runs. Yeah, so they're very similar to UVDTFs. So if you're comfortable working with UVDTFs, you'll love these. They're exact. They're basically exactly the same, just slightly different image printing. It's a, it's printed on a different type of printer. I love runs. I love the banana runs. Banana runs. Okay, super fun. Just very simple giraffe print. Okay. And done just like that. Should I put some on the lid? Oh, I was going to show you guys the cup. I don't like bananas in general. I eat them because they're good for me. Like I had a banana last night. I eat them because they're good for me and they're healthy. They're, they're good source of like sugars, good sugars. But I don't really like bananas, but I love banana flavored things like banana toffee, taffy, banana, banana taffy, and banana lappy taffies and banana um, runs, banana suckers. Love banana flavored things. Just don't like the real bananas. Bananas are the worst. Yeah, I don't actually like bananas, but I like banana flavored things. Do you know the fun fact? Do you know how they make the bubblegum flavor? Bubblegum flavor is made by using cinnamon and banana. And that's where they get the original bubblegum flavor. Banana left taffy is your fave, right? Um, Cassidy that lives here, she gets a big giant tub of Laffy Taffy, but she gets the blue raspberry. I was like, you're crazy. You're a psychopath. Why don't you get banana, a big tub of banana? She's like, ew. I was like, we can't be friends. Where do we get our tumblers from? Um, we have a manufacturer. So we buy them directly from our manufacturer. Hello. Um, there are a bunch of different companies. There is Mother Tumblr. There is Hog. There is, uh, oh, farts. I can't think of it. It's not Magnolia anymore. They've changed the name. It's not Mag. Is it still called Magnolia? I put some on the, I put some on the top. Just a few little sprinkled around the top. All right. This is going to go out to my aunt. We're going to ship it out. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Hi, got Tipsy Magnolia. I was going to say, I'm just pretty sure that Magnolia is still a name. The Tipsy Magnolia. That's probably my favorite, Tipsy Magnolia. One, I just like the people. I like the owners. I like, they just, good vibes all around. And the new owners. I think it was bought out, right? Yes. The Tipsy Magnolia. Um, all right, y'all. This was meant to be just a quickie little live with me. Emily's... Sorry, Emily's going to be coming. Oh, I want to show you the things. Oh, 
Okay, yesterday's tumbler. This is the live mix. The pink, the baby pink on here, that is yesterday's live mix. We did a glitter swirl. So the Stainless Depot. Yeah, that's Hog. That's right. Hog's brand is from Stainless Depot. Yes. Um, this is um, the glitter swirl tumbler that we worked on yesterday. And the pink is yesterday's live mix. And like I said, there's only about 30, 40 ish of the this live mix le left. And then Figaro is the purple. Lux is the kind of gold, champagne gold. And Curtis is the chunky white in there, which blends in this mix beautifully. Is that the three that we used? Yeah, Figaro, Lux, and Curtis. And then live mix number 138 is on this tumbler. So this is ready for its next step. If I had even... I actually, my brain goes, oh, it's going to need another coat, but it actually doesn't necessarily need another coat. It feels really good. It came out gorgeous. And uh, so I asked her to make me the crosses to do the, be able to do the peekaboo. But I asked her, I was like, can you have them for me ready for next week? So I didn't think about today. So I don't have them ready today to keep going with this tumbler. So we'll have to wait till next week. But this is, this is yesterday's live mix. Okay. And let me go get the molds. We'll take them out. We'll do the molds. So I used the molds from the, the, the Pet Lovers Craft Addicts Mix. There's still more of those up on the website. There's so much fun stuff in that Pet Lovers Craft Addicts Mix. Where did mine go? Well, my kids have been in here, so I'm pretty sure that's where it went because it has a keychain in it. I'm sure they swooped it already because they were in here for like 20 minutes before I got in here. So I did the cat mold. This is the shaker mold. I poured the live mix on the outside and then I poured uh, the uh, rest of my Curtis in Curtis. And so we've got the shaker mold. Okay, this is a little kitty cat. Now, if you want to make these for your keychains, you can actually just pour the outside and then you have like a hollow little frame of cat. But I went ahead and did Curtis on the background so that we could put some fun little goodies in there. Those darn kids. So I was going to put the goodies. There's little paw prints. So I was going to put them in here. All right. We'll do that on another day. And then this was the new mold from this week. It is a cheetah print car coaster. And we used the leftover epoxy glitter from there to make this. This has the cheetah print in it. So what I'm going to do with this is I will take... Um, I'll keep this on my desk and the next time I have a little leftover resin, I'll mix it with some black and then I will pour it down inside the little cheetah prints and I'll let it cure and then we'll have this pretty, we'll have a matchy matchy set. This will, this will match with our tumbler. Okay. I don't know what's going on with Henry. Everyone's saying, so, sorry to hear Henry. Henry, big hugs. I don't know what's going on, but big hugs. I missed whatever comment was. I do have to say, one, I think it's funny that we're all, like, good friends. <laughs> I don't think it's funny. I think it's awesome that we're all good friends. Because I see us out in the wild. And by wild, I mean, like, out on our regular personal Facebook pages. And I see y'all commenting on each other's personal posts. It's so funny. I was like, I love that our little community of Lily and Rose has blossomed like friendships and like a community outside of just this group. It's awesome. So I see us all interacting out in the wild. And if you have sent me a friend request and I didn't respond to it, it's not personal. I don't look at friends at friend requests ever. And so unless I like know that I specifically have a friend request, I will never accept it. Because I, I, I do not, even one of the girls that works for me, um, so she took our pony. We had a pony. And so she adopted our pony. And it's because she has little goats. And she's like, they need a companion. So she took a pony, Princess Brown Snowflake. And she passed away over the weekend. She was very old, by the way. She had a beautiful end of her life. We don't know where she came from. She was dumped on the side of the road. We got her. She lived with us for a couple of years. And she went to Morgan with her goats. And she said the goats are like mourning her, but um, she dies. She's just an old horse. She's an old little lady. Um, but I was like, yeah, I saw her Facebook page. And I was like, oh, so I went to go to her Facebook page. I'm like, I'm not friends with Morgan. And so I was like, that's funny. And then it occurred to me. I'm like, oh, she probably sent me a friend request at some point. And I never friend requested her. 
I have not friend friended somebody on Facebook in probably four or five years. <laughs> and I used to have like 4,000 friends on Facebook. And unless I knew who you were, like uh, recognized the name or that I interacted with you, I deleted because I ended up, I joined a mom's triplet group and I like friended all the moms. And then my entire newsfeed was a whole bunch of triplet moms that I knew nothing about and didn't know them, but I was always getting their posts in my feed. So I unfriended all the triplet moms. And then ever since then, I have not refriended. And the girls were like three years old when I did that. So if you sent me a friend request and I didn't respond, it's not personal. It's just because I just don't even know where, I don't even know where to look for friend requests. I don't even, I don't know. I don't know how that works. So I am just taking my sharp, sharp, exact, my craft knife. Would you guys, I'm, I'm crafting away. I'm barely friends with Emily. Truth. And I'm just shaving the little outside edge off this one, smoothing it down a little bit. Now, I've actually got this question quite a bit in the last, I would say last week, I've been asked this question like four or five times. If you have a piece of um, something with epoxy on it and you need to sand it, how do you get it shiny again? Because you can see I'm trimming this right here. And so this makes that edge kind of dull. If you want to shine it back up, there's multiple different options to you. One, fingernail polish. Just do clear fingernail polish. If it's going to be something that's not like your tumbler, and doesn't need to be extremely durable like this. It's just going to be a little keychain. You can use clear fingernail polish, or you can take a little UV resin and just go swoop, 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 and then cure it. Or you can take like a little dollop if you have a project and you've got like your resin cup. You can just dip your finger in the resin cup and do it and let it cure. Okay, and that shines it back up. Or you can actually use a buffing a buffing sander. There's little mini hand ones, like little ones that go on like your what are those called? What is the drill thing called? Ah, the electric little, the little mini hand drill thing. You, they have buffing, um, uh, at, 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 um, buffing, what do they call it? Oh my gosh. Little buffers that hook into your little drill on the end and you can just buff it back. Dremel, thank you, Dremel. You can take the little buffing pads on with the Dremel and buff it out. But again, there's clear nail polish and we'll shine it right up a swoop of epoxy, a little UV resin, or just buff it out. I, I'm already loving this. Now you could leave this. You do not have to turn this into a shaker. You could just drill a hole and it's gonna be like a little 3D cat. You could even put little vinyl eyes and little nose on there and just leave it and drill a hole with a hand drill or a dremel through the corner and turn it into a little keychain tassel. It does not have to turn into a shaker. That's what I also love about the shakers. They're very versatile. All right. So this little mold, if you ordered the um, Animal Lovers, you might end up with this one. Remember, with the Craftix mix, you're never guaranteed an item because it's kind of a mix. So this is one of the molds that's in the Animal Lovers Craftix mix. This was a mold that launched this week. So this is new on the website. And then today's decals are this beautiful giraffe. Uh, the the uh, giraffe pattern. Okay, and the giraffe splotches. All right, so those are the newbie items up there. Then there's two new keychains. This is the the ro red rose, the rose one. And sunrise, sunburn, sunset, repeat with a cheetah print in the background. Okay, so these are the two new ones today. Okay. All right, y'all, I'm going to take off. I'm going to head up with uh, the kiddos. Ivan wants to leave. He wanted to leave at 520, so I got a jam up there. All right. I will see you guys later. Emily's going to be jumping on to craft with you guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.